so freaking away. This cannot be real. This is so cool. Check out what is right up here. It is a giant octopus. I literally just hand them out to random backpackers that I meet along the way. But yeah, they come out really good. Check it out. So escape your comfort zone. <laughs> so this is the one that I've always been wearing for a long time. So if we ever bump into each other guys, be sure to ask for a band. Well, I am packed and ready to go. <laughs> Man, I cannot believe it's already been two weeks. Time just flies when you're traveling. I, I don't even know what date today it is today. <laughs> um, I love this place though, guys. I highly, highly recommend it if you're in around Ubud. So this is called Pondok Murta House. It is very, very central. Um, it's like walking distance to a lot of main attractions around here. So if you're in the area, definitely check it out, guys. And the breakfast that I get every day has just been delicious. But now it's time to move on to my next place. So I'm gonna be heading off to Changu. Um, I'm gonna have to load both these bags on my scooter, so uh, that'll be a fun mission. But this place has a pool and it looks really nice as well. So I'll see you there. And welcome to Changu. So that was actually a really good ride. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But this place is beautiful. So this is my view. <laughs> Not really the nicest view, but check out the room guys. So right through here is my big ginormous room. It feels super spacious. <laughs> and the bed is bigger than my last bed. But for some reason, the bathroom area is like half the size of the room. <laughs> Look how big this is. This just feels so unnecessary having this much space in here. So much room for activities. But as I said before, this is going to be my accommodation for the next two weeks here in Changu, which means I'll be beaching it a lot of days and I'm going to be checking out some more waterfalls down the track. So, let's enjoy guys. Who's ready for an adventure? I sure know I am. Let's go see what Changu has to offer. For my first beach today, Batu Balik Beach. actually been gone for the past few hours now but I thought I'd take off from where I started. So the whole time I've been in Bali my drone has just not been flying right, something's been wrong with it and I knew I had to get it fixed. So there, luckily there is a drone repair shop called Bali Copter. I highly recommend it if you're having drone issues in Bali. But luckily it was an easy fix. Turns out all it was is there are some drones that can get real bad connection throughout all of Bali and that was my issue but all i had to do to fix it was download an app called fake gps and i just had to say i was sort of in a different location so say the us and after that it was completely fine 
it's an easy fix and that is a great tip for all of you people who own a drone and if you're having issues flying it throughout Bali. Some of you may be thinking, hey Brandon, you're Australian, why are you out there surfing? Well guess what guys, not every Australian surf. I actually have never done it in my life. <laughs> A boogie board, but don't surf. Oh yeah, this is what I have been looking forward to. <laughs> coming from Australia, I just absolutely miss the beaches and coming back, just chilling out for a while on the beach is lovely. And these things, like the, the seat areas, I thought you actually had to pay to get them, but this one was free. And they have coconuts here too, you can buy as well. <laughs> but yeah, it's not a bad experience chilling out here. Away. This cannot be real. This is so cool. <laughs> Check out what is right up here. It is a giant octopus. How have I not heard of this? <laughs> wow, this is amazing. This thing is huge. Definitely see that scooters is the main means of transportation around here. <laughs> Righto, let's go. All right, so I thought I'd come back to my accommodation and just walk from here to the other beaches. But before I head off, I'm gonna jump in the pool, cool off and have a drink. All right, that's enough chilling by the pool. Back to the beach. <laughs> oh, such a hard life I got. So the best thing I love about where my accommodation is located, it's literally just up the road from where the shortcut route is um, across to get to the other beaches. So if you don't go the shortcut route, it is a very long way. So the roads take you like right up and right up and around and all the way back down. But with the shortcut route, it saves you a lot of time. But the funny thing about this spot, it gets very busy at times because like this is how sort of wide the road is it's not very wide and if there's two cars going different ways through here they literally squeeze through so so tight they're like they're like that that close and then that means all the other friggin bikes and other cars get backed up for ages like i was waiting here probably 10 minutes yesterday uh that's let's go Look at these guys up here. No harnesses or anything, just casually working on the side of a roof. Stuff that. Again. <laughs> So this part of the beach is called Nalayan Beach and it's pretty well the same as the majority of the other parts. You just have all your seats out front 
of like the nice restaurants and that so you can chill out have a drink have some food that's pretty much what whole Changu is, is like actually so you just come to Changu chill eat drink and serve Alright, so right behind me is a really popular spot if you want to have a good night out and go for a party. It's called Old Man's, so they have some big events on throughout the week. And yeah, if you're keen on partying in Changu, check out Old Man's. We have the sound skill there for you guys, yeah. I've gotten these guys to sing Land Down Under and apparently they know it. I met strings and let it eat, they make me nervous. So take me in the midst of it first. And she said, Did it come for the land and under? Put a room in the blue and a friend under. Get in here, get a wee red thunder. You better run, you better take cover. Yes, what absolute legends. I can't believe they actually played Land Out Under for me. That made my night. Ah, oh, but wow, what an epic day it has been here in Changu. I really, really enjoyed relaxing on the beaches and going for a swim. And just watching the sunset was a great way to end the day. Um, so Changu compared to Ubud, they're very different though. So Changu is more of a chilled vibe hang at the beach, go for a swim, and if you like partying, um, Changu is a great place to party as well. But on the other hand, Ubud is more of a sort of quieter place. Like, they have a lot of great restaurants and cafes. They're, it's a great place for food, and if you're into yoga, they got plenty of yoga in Ubud. But as I said, Changu is, there's more happening. There's more happening here. Um, but that's, I really enjoyed the day today. And I hope you guys enjoyed my adventure as well. And remember, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Follow your dreams. Escape your comfort zone. And I'll see you on another journey. Bye.